This is costing you so many shots out on the golf course. I'm going to tell you my three things I think are costing a lot of golfers and it's nothing to do with how you swing. It's actually not even going to talk about the golf swing at all. Please don't turn it off because these things will really help you improve your golf. I promise you this. Okay, number one on our list. Well, but I still have this question. Would you like to play your best, better golf more often? If you would, please hit that thumbs up button. We all know we would. Carrying our bag, the big debate. I much prefer carrying the bag to using a trolley. I think you can walk a bit more direct towards the golf ball. You have to go around the greens, and I actually much prefer it. But what I'm gonna to say to you here is, is being careful what we carry. When we've got our carry bag, carrying an umbrella, carrying our waterproofs, carrying a lot of golf balls, carrying our food, carrying our water, these things are heavy. If we think we're carrying this for the best part of three to four hours and doing potentially four to six miles, carrying this heavy bag and then swinging the golf club, when we get to the final stretch of those holes, it can really impact us. How many times have we got to the 14th, 15th, oh God, I feel tired, swing goes a little bit off, concentration goes, we make stupid errors. So what I'm saying to you right now is be very careful how much you carry. I'd be very frugal in terms of, can I get an extra layer on here which I can wear instead of carrying it can I just put waterproof top in or can I just put waterproof bottoms in or even you know what I do I don't even know this is part of the rules be cheeky I should play partner who's got a trolley to carry some of the stuff you have to correct me on that guys if you do know that rule please comment down below I think you can possibly do that but let me know so just be very careful. You've got to think, if you're carrying something that's heavy, it's going to really impact you out on the golf course. So join me for two and three. These are equally as important. Let's advance this, advance this one towards the green and join me up there. Right. Oh, go. Be good. Right. We're dancing. Let's talk about the final two. Number two on our list. And this is a biggie. How often do we not drink on the golf course? Or we get to the point on the, on, after nine holes, we're like, blow oh, my neck, I really need a drink. Oh God, I can't, I'm, I'm dehydrated. Well, it's too late then. We need to make sure we're keeping ourselves hydrated throughout. Get a water bottle from home, fill it with water, or buy one in the pro shop. Little and often is a great way to stay hydrated. Keeps this focused, keeps the swing focused, keeps energy levels up, and we don't make silly mistakes. Come on, let's go towards the green and talk about the final one because I know I'm super guilty for not drinking enough, but you watch all the European Tour players. Out on the golf course, they have water bins every three holes where they can either fill up that water bottle or they can get new water bottles, plastic ones. So why not? Why, why have they got them? Ask yourself that question. Well, to keep the players hydrated. It's a massive thing, keeping hydrated. And I would definitely be an advocate of a water or potentially a sports drink might also be a good option. Okay, let's hit this put away. Not a bad shot, I'm pretty happy with that. Into the last, keep myself focused. Let's hit this put away. This morning we started filming, it was absolutely terrible. Now it's cracking the flags. Okay, so if you are enjoying this video and you are enjoying this style of tips, because I know this is nothing to do with your swing and you do come here to see and, and look at how you improve your swing, but I wanna help you improve your golf overall. This is a great way. So number one was thinking about, okay, not carrying too much stuff. Number two, keeping hydrated, regular and often. Who thinks I can hold this putt? I want you to comment down below. Yes, you've got a 25 putter, footer. Alex, you're gonna hold it or no? Let's have a little bit of something down below and see how many people think I'm gonna hold this putt. Pause it, comment, now watch it. Oh, it's giving it a good go. Okay. So the final one on my list, and I think this is equally as important, each of these are very, very important for your golf game, eating. Breakfast bars, a little bit of snack bars, or even a chocolate bar, but not all in one go. We don't want to have that big spike in sugar and that big come down. Eating regular and often is absolutely fantastic. So if I could recommend anything for you right now, every four holes, I want you to have a sip of water, a bite of your chocolate bar, or a bite of your breakfast bar. Something that's gonna keep you going throughout is absolutely key for better scores. Honestly, this will really help you keep your concentration, stop making silly mistakes, save one or two 
two shots here and there without changing your swing. Who wouldn't want to do that? Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Before you go, wait, 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 wait right there. Let me know exactly what you're struggling with in your game right now. So comment down below, Alex, I'm struggling with irons. I'm struggling with hook. I'm struggling with slice. Whatever it is, I create this content for you. So I would love to know what you're struggling with. Thank you so much. Don't forget, we have an absolute cracker tomorrow. Join me for that.